Good day mates, Poké Dragon here, and welcome to a new LP. This is the winner of the vote, and Mega Man won by a one by seven votes for on Equestrian Amino to the poll that I basically ran on and certain other and other ways. So and Mega Man basically won. So we're just going to blast through Mega Man, tackle the eight robot, eight robot masters, blah, the six robot masters, and Womp Wily once and for all. Let's get started. So we basically got Cutsman, Gutsman, Iceman, Bombman, Fireman, and Elecman. Now, personally, when it comes to the order that I'm going to tackle the boss, the robot masters in, I'm going to go with. Cutman first. He's pretty much and very easy to start off with, and he's pretty much weak to the Mega Buster. Now, basically, when it comes to the point system in this game, basically, when it comes to the point system in this game, it's well for bragging rights. I don't even know why they even bother putting it in this game at all. And those enemies are apparently being annoying. I did try the uh, the Legacy Collection that was on Steam, but however though, I already got it on emulator, so so I don't really need it. Besides, besides, you don't really get much of those slowdown that you that you did in the originals. You did get some concept off for completing challenges on that on that on that version though. Get rid of that. Now let's ah got these things with just small scissors. So you can just easily just go right past them. Also, when it comes to the movement of Mega Man, I have one problem. With him, and that's his traction. When you move, it takes a while for him to stop. Either it takes a while for him to stop. So I'm guessing Mega Man has Mega Ice under his Mega Feet. I really do not know. Get rid of you. Get some energy. Also, when it comes to the drops, I think points just spawn way too often. I would like to basically have more weapon energy and all that. Weapon energy and life up. But these points are just, well, pointless. They're only just for bragging rights. Well, I guess it gives you something to show off at school at least, back in the day. Now that wouldn't have been useful if I had a weapon, but I don't. Well, a robot master weapon anyway. Let's see, and ugh, I don't know why when it comes to more enemies on the screen, that means slow down. I thought that the same version would fix that. I was also kind of hoping that it would fix the stupid phone. There we go. I was hoping it would fix the the sprite flickerman as well. Ooh, big red of energy. I need that. Got one of those little cone things. Spike in these games are instant death. Don't touch them when you die. And I believe we're almost at the very end. And the, those enemies hit very hard. And we're all and we're already at the end. Huh, go figure. that. I prefer playing on an emulator. I also have it for my uh, Nintendo DS from the eShop, but I prefer playing on an emulator because of the big massive range. And here's Cutman. His attack is says he'll throw his scissors back and forth. It's 
Very easy to dodge. All you have to do is just jump over it. He's also weak to the the super arm, which is Gusman's weapon. But if you have the Mega Buster, you should be perfectly fine. And he's a, and he's dead. And we got his weapon. Nice. Cut down to size. And yep, more clear points, more bragging rights, which I don't really need, so blah, 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 blah. Which I don't even know why they even bother with those at all. So Cutsman is down. Now, what's weak against scissors? Eh, cutting the cables on electricity would work as well. Now, when it comes to these little things, just use the, just use this, the cutman's weapon to get rid of them. That way, you'll have an easier time to negate the stage a bit. I was kind of hoping they would drop me in one up, but nope. And behold, the game's mechanic: current electricity. Unfortunately, you can't use guts. Cuts man's weapon to get through that. And here's the most annoying part. Ugh. When you climb on these, these little things show up. And they shoot tunnel vision electricity currents. This is gonna cause a little bit of a problem while you're in the middle of climbing. So it's best to basically deal them on screen before moving up. So keep continue climbing and deal with these guys. Ooh, more ammunition for my gun. Nice. I like to deal with them on the screen before climbing upwards, because they're gonna cause some massive problems. Ow. There we go. And jump here, go up there. If you go to the other side, you get a bunch of mini weapon energies. But I'm practically fine when it comes to customized weapons, so I don't think I probably need them. Ugh, sprite flickering. One of the many problems in the Mega Man games. Ugh. Ignore that! Be Ignore that weapon energy, because even if you just got there just to grab it, you'll just hit your head on the ceiling and you'll fall down and die anyway. Another climbing segment, but with these annoying things in the way... Ooh, what up? Thanks, game! Nice. Now, if you have the super arm from... Ugh, God, the sprite flickering is so bad here. Get rid of you, get rid of you. There we go. And now we have these guys again. Ugh. Can you drop a one-up like last time? Nope. Ah, here we go. You see those blocks right here with that laser weapon? You need the super arm for that, which is Gutsman's weapon. And that weapon will come in very, very handy. Let's see, get rid of you, get rid of you. Continue climbing up upwards. And for now, we don't have to worry about those green things. We do have to worry about knockback, though, which is a current problem when it comes to these Mega Man games. Ugh, I hate knockback, especially in a certain other game. We had to be a ninja, and knockback was a very big problem with that. And I believe we're almost at the end of this stage. Almost. Here. Oh, there we go. We're reaching the end. Ow. Haha! <laughs> Killed yourself. We got free lives. I think we're probably good. Now, you can't do this with a Bego Buster. He has a bit of a pattern every time you shoot him, it throws him off pattern when it comes to Elect Man. There we go. One more tower climb. There we 
go. And we reach Elect Man. His Elect Beam hits very damn hard. And, well, we don't really have to deal with him anymore. We just got him. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I hit him twice with a Cutman weapon. Wow. I was kind of, I was, I was kind of thought that I was going to die there and I have to do the whole thing again. But, no, I'm happy with that. Okay, so we take down Cutman and Elect Man. Who do we take out next? Ice Man's a good pick. He is weak to Elect Man's weapon. 9,000 points, which we only need that for bragging rights. And we have these, have these enemies here. I was kind of afraid when, the, when he hits me with that Elect Beam, with Elect Man's Elect Beam. I thought he was gonna, that had the power to basically take off half of your health. So if he hit me right there, I would have been dead. <laughs> but I'm happy that we took no damage from that fight. That's was pretty unique. Anywho, this stage right here is gonna have a bit of a gimmick, which we will come up sooner or later. We don't really worry about energy right now, but apparently fine as it is. And welcome to the game's mechanic. We'll just have to deal with this guy first. There we go. Disappearing blocks. Damn it. Which take a very long time to mesmerize with the pattern. Damn it. Ah. Come on. One. There we go. The second one got me in a little trouble with that one, with that button. One, two, three. Ah. Oh. Ugh. I hate these disappearing blocks. Ah! Come on. Eventually. There we go, got it. Finally got out of there. No more block puzzles, thank god. Now I have to transfer on these things before I get. What? I fell for the. Ugh. Okay, I'm back. That was BS. I landed on that. That should not have happened. There we go, now it works. And we got obstacles that can knock us off. Like that. All right, back again. Let's just hope this doesn't happen again. Nope. Come on, climb up. Up, up, I said up, there we go, it's a finally got a, would you penguins go away, go newt newt elsewhere, Ugh. can get more of these, gonna be nice, also, the best thing about Elect Man's weapon, it fires in three directions. Ow. And, uh, and this weapon is also Iceman's weakness.
Now all I have to do is go through these penguins that provide no challenge and use the Elect Beam. The Elect Beam in this game is one of my favorites, because not only can it fire in three directions, because it makes Iceman his bitch. And you're dead. I think that was pretty well. Sure, we had some, well, bumps in the road, but we got Iceman's weapon now. Alright, three Robot Masters are down. Only three more to go. So, tune in next time as we're going to tackle the last three. Stay tuned next time, folks.